Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor and WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a WooCommerce product slider using Elementor Pro plugin. So if you are using Elementor and WooCommerce on your website, then you do not need to install a third party plugin to create the product slider in WooCommerce website. In some of the previous videos, I have shown you how to use the free as well as the pro plugins to create the product slider in a WooCommerce website. So these are the videos that I published before in which I have used some free plugins to create the product slider in WooCommerce website. If you want to watch these videos, I'll give you links in the description box. However, in this video, we are going to use the Elementor Pro plugin to create the product slider in a WooCommerce website. So if you are already using Elementor and WooCommerce on your website, then you do not need to go for a third party plugin. So let's see how we can use the loop builder feature in Elementor Pro plugin to create the product slider. So here I'm on the demo page and on this page, I'm going to create a product slider. So let's click on the plus sign, search for loop. Now you will see two different options, loop grid and loop carousal. Now we are going to create a slider or the carousal. So we are going to use loop carousal. So click on it, drag it and drop it here. Now you can create carousal of post or you can create a carousal of products. So here you need to select the template products. So in this example, we are going to create a new template. So click on create a template, then click on save. So this is the area where we are going to create a template. So at the top, I want the product image. So I'm going to select featured image and drag it and drop it here. Okay, so you will see the featured image of the product. Now here you can customize the image settings, such as you can use thumbnail or you can use full size. Now below that, I want product title. So you can go here and select product title, drag it and drop it here. Now customize the settings of the product title. I'm going to reduce the size, center align it. If you want to change the style settings, you can change from the style field. Let's say if I want to make it black color, I can change the color. Now below that, I want product price so I'm going to drag and drop the price here so this is the price if you want to change the color you can change the color of the price you will see the sale price here you can change the colors so this one looks good now below that I want to add let's say I want to add two columns so I'll go to inner section, drag it and drop it here. And in the first section, I want a button. So that will be like a, a button to show the product. So I'm going to drag and drop the button here. Let's make it justified and name it as a view product. And here under dynamic tags, you can select the post URL. So whenever someone clicks on this button, it will go to the product page. All right, now in this section, I want to use add to cart. So I'm going to click on add to cart, drag it and drop it here. So it will show the add to cart. If you want to change the settings, you can change the settings from here. You can also change the width just like this. Okay, this one looks good. For the style settings, you can use these options here. All right, now what else we can do? Let's click on plus sign. Now here you will see different options. If you want to add other options, you can add other options. Let's say if you want to add product ratings, you can simply drag it and drop it here and it will show the rating of that particular product. Now this is a dummy website and it does not have any products. So I'm going to delete it. You can also see product stock. So if you want to show the stock of that particular product, you can use that option here. Short description. If you want to add short description, you can add the short description here. It will show the description of the product. Product meta. Under meta, you will see categories of that particular product. 
All right, so these are the options that I want to add. Now, I want to add some padding also. So if I click on this column, let's go to style. And for the border, I'm going to use the box shadow. So this is how it will look. It will show this shadow around the box. And border type, let's make it solid, one pixel. And you can change the color. Let's make it off white. And for the box shadow, you can use the horizontal as well as vertical. Let's close this. This is how it will look. If you want to change other style settings, you can change the style settings. You can add margin. You can also add padding. So I'm going to keep it as it is. Now let's click on save and back. Now we are back to the demo page and you will see all the products are listed as a carousal. Now we need to change the settings of the carousal or you can say the slider. Now here you will see number of slides. How many slides do you want to show? So let's say uh, here we have selected six. If you want to increase the number, you can increase the number. And here you will see three slides to display. So you will see three products are listed here slides to scroll so when someone click on the scroll here you will see arrow let's say if i want to scroll two slides then it will slide two just like that equal height i think it should be always on so that it will look better query under query you can show the latest products if you want to select products from a category you can select the product from particular category Let's say I have a category of accessories. So it, it is going to show the products only from the accessories category. So you can filter the products according to the categories. Here you have other options, sell the products which are on sale, feature products. You can also select products manually. You can have related products, upsells, cross sales. Now here you will see order by date or ascending or descending order. Let's go to settings. Under settings you will see auto play. So it is going to play the slides automatically. And this is the time duration between the slide. Pause on hover. If someone move the cursor on the slide, it is going to pause the slider. Pause on interaction, infinite scroll. So these are the basic settings. You can change the settings if you want. It is going to change the direction. Now under navigation, you will see arrows and bullets. So this is the arrows. You will see the arrows here. We are going to change the color settings. And this is the pagination. At the bottom, you will see dots. So these are the paginations. Let's go to style settings. And under style, you will see gap between slides. That is 10 pixel. If you want to increase, you can increase it. Under for the navigation, you can change the color on the arrows. Now you will see the arrow color here. For the hover, I'm going to use a red. And you can also increase the size. So you will see the increased size of the arrows. And this is for the pagination, that is the dots at the bottom. So you can also change the size of the dots, just like this. You can change the color. Let's see how does this look. So this is how it will look. Now the arrows show inside. You can also show the arrows outside. Advanced from the advanced again, you can change the advanced settings of this loop carousal. Let's update it. And let's see how does this look. So this is how it will look. You will see the box shadow. You will also see the products. And if I want to scroll, you can simply click on the arrows and it is going to scroll. Now, this is pretty basic. If you want to make it better, you can change the style settings of this product slider. So if you are using Elementor and WooCommerce on your website, then you do not need to install a third party plugin for the product slider in WooCommerce website. So this is how you can create the WooCommerce product slider using the Elementor Loop Builder.
So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.